Oh no, we've lost Brian Stelter at CNN. Let's read. CNN's woke purge begins. Media hall monitor Brian Stelter is out as new boss Chris Licht cleans house days after legal analyst Jeffrey Tubin left. So is Don Lemon next? Brian Stelter's Sunday show, Sunday affair show, has been canceled by new boss Chris Licht with the last one airing this weekend. He said he was grateful for the show and his team's examination of the media, truth, and stories that shape our world. It comes just days after CNN's legal analyst, Jeffrey Tubin announced that he would not be returning after his vacation. CNN has canceled Brian Stelter's Sunday show after new boss Chris Lick vowed to clean up the network, according to Yashar Ali. Chief media correspondent and reliable sources host is the first casualty of the network after Lick took over in early 2022. Stelter confirmed in a statement to NPR that he would be stepping down from the show, which has he has hosted for the past nine years and celebrated his 30th anniversary in March. It was a rare privilege to lead a weekly show focusing on the press at a time when it has never been more consequential. Promising to say more on the final episode of the show on Sunday. CNN's new boss, Chris Licht, is currently working to revive the scandal hit network after several high-profile incidents and informed Stelter of the news yesterday. Stelter was reportedly summoned to Licht's office on Wednesday and left looking ashen and refused to talk about the conversation, according to Puck News. In a statement on Twitter, he said, I picked a bad day to violate the ABC rule, always be charging. I took the kiddos out sightseeing in midtown Manhattan and my phone's at 2%. Critics were calling for Stelter to be sacked earlier this year after he failed to report the open secret affair between former top boss Jeff Zucker and staffer Ellison Gollist. Hmm. Picked a bad day. So the the appropriate term that they're trying to reach is that they're trying to say that they're going back to center. Uh, so I don't know what that means and what we can expect in the future uh, with shows and who's going to be on there. But let's read on. Zucker stepped down as CNN president in February for failing to disclose his relationship with Gullis when he had been interviewed as part of the investigation into Chris Cuomo. He and Gullis claimed the romance started during COVID, but media sources tell DailyMail.com it long predates the pandemic and was an open secret in the CNN offices. It comes just days after CNN legal analyst Jeffrey Tubin announced that he was leaving the network after 20 years. Tubin has insisted he made the decision to quit himself, but speculation is mounting that he was forced out by new boss Chris Licht. The analyst was infamously caught masturbating on a Zoom call with colleagues at the New Yorker magazine, only to be invited back by CNN's disgraced ex-boss Jeff Zucker. A source told DailyMail.com Chris is really focused on CNN turning a corner. He actually listens to what people want and isn't driven by ego. He's moving CNN back to the center. He abolished the ridiculous breaking news cut-ins and graphics that drove everyone crazy, and he knows no one will shed a tear re Tubin's departure, especially the women of CNN. A cable news veteran who wished not to be named spoke of the close relationship between Stelter and Zucker. Brian Stelter should be calling his agent to start looking for another job, they said. He's been Jeff Zucker's water boy for years, and no one believes he didn't know all about this. Gullis and Zucker lived in the same apartment building with their respective families, have worked together at NBC and then CNN for more than 20 years, and had what some called an uncomfortable, cozy rapport. On Le Mans, huh, is the next possible target. They are both now divorced, and one source told Daily Mail that their splits were due in part to their relationship. Tubin was famously fired in November 2020 by The New Yorker after 27 years when he was caught on camera masturbating during the Zoom call conversation with colleagues. He claimed he didn't realize his webcam was still on when he began masturbating. CNN suspended him for eight months before welcome, welcoming him back to the anger of many at the network. Tubin said that he had decided to leave, but some within the company saw it as a part of a wider move by the new boss, Chris Lick, to clean up the network after scandals involving anchor Chris Cuomo and the president of the company, Jeff Zucker. The source added he just needs to fix 9 p.m. We're all rooting for the talented and undervalued Dana Bash to be given that slot. You want a neutral journalist to appeal to both sides? He's got to put Dana in. The 9 p.m. slot was previously held by Chris Cuomo, who saw his show Cuomo, Cuomo Primetime canceled in late November after the anchor was suspended and then fired for helping his brother, former New York Governor Andrew Cuomo, while he was accused of sexual harassment. Quite the shakeup. 
Chris was fired in December last year after an internal investigation found he had helped his brother Andrew, former governor of New York, navigate through a sexual misconduct scandal while he was working as a CNN host. He is still fighting for $18 million, the remainder of his contract, but Zucker has refused to pay out, citing the conflict of interest between Chris's relationship with his brother and his on-air reporting for CNN. According to political sources, Cuomo's team said it was hypocritical for Zucker to fire Chris for a conflict of interest when he has his own in his relationship with Gullist. Since November, CNN has been trailing several potential replacements for the 9 p.m. show, among them Jim Acosta, Laura Coates, Michael Smirkinish, and Sarah Sidner. Tubin appeared on shows across the network, and on Friday he said he would miss his CNN colleagues. His return to CNN a year ago in June 2021 was accompanied by a fawning interview in which he issued to a groveling issued to a groveling apology to his colleagues for his deeply moronic behavior and said he was incredibly grateful for being allowed back on air. So there you have it. What do you think will happen? Do you think they'll uh, fire some more people? It seems like they have a lot of partisan hacks over there, and their news is not news but a political opinion for the most part, and I think they have to do a lot more than this. This is a result of, I think it's uh, AT&T and Discovery and all these other things taking over with CNN. And, and we'll see. I guess the time will tell us if it's going to move back towards center. Uh, they've got a long way to move as far as I can see. Um, they better pack up everything and, you know, head a couple more thousand miles to the right. We have news secret audio obtained from the CNN newsroom during the filming of Jeffrey Tubin's apologetic return. Let's listen to that now. Hello, Allison. It's been a while. It has been a while. Tug and Tubin. Indeed. I feel like we should address. Hey, back there. Keep um, your hands above the table per the new in policy. The since we've seen there you, you go. since some of our viewers may not know what has happened. So, Tug and Tubin. Uh, I guess I'll recap. Hey, Tugger can't I'll hear me through his earpiece, can he? Okay, good. <laughs> Help yourself. Okay. <laughs> this should be good. Um, in October, you were on a Zoom call with your colleagues from the New Yorker magazine. Everyone took a break for several minutes, during which time you were caught masturbating on camera. Jerking his gherkin. Uh, you were subsequently fired from that job after 27 years of working From there, there. but not fired and from CNN. you since then have been on leave from CNN. Do I have all that right? Um, now we have glass all tables. Right. We all have glass tables. Okay, so let's start there. Okay. Um, to quote Jay Leno, what the hell were you thinking? Well, obviously, uh, was that I wasn't thinking in the back? very well or very much. And um, it was something that was inexplicable to me. I think one point, I, I wouldn't exactly say in my defense, because nothing is really in my defense. I didn't think I was on the call. I didn't think other people could see me. You so, thought that you had turned off your camera? Who was camera? that Gawkin in the back? I thought Tell him to I get out of there. Off the Quit Gawkin at the now, perv that's show. that's not a defense. This was deeply moronic and defensible. But, go. I mean, that, that is part of that. that is Keep your hands above the, the table. Um, and, you know, I have spent the seven subsequent months, miserable months in my life, I can certainly confess. Um, we trying didn't to you. be a better person. I mean, in therapy, trying to do some public service, um, working in a food bank, which I certainly am. That reminds me, can we get a couple truckloads of hand sanitizer the ordered? Oklahoma City bombing, but I am trying to become the Use kind of person that here. people can trust again. I'm sure you've replayed that embarrassing moment over and over many times. Um, have you ever thought about what it must have been like to be on the receiving end of that Zoom call? Um, well, I, I haven't just thought Tube about and CDC it. I've rules. To several of my no shaking hands with him at ever. The about it, and you know they uh, were shocked and appalled. Um, I think they realized that this was not intended for them. I think they realized that this was um, something that thought I it was would on a different Zoom call. Regret as as I certainly did. We all and regret it. It was then. It was that day that I began apologizing, and that is something that I have tried to continue to do, uh, both publicly Won't and privately. Won't be long. Mark my you words. Know, He'll get fired. Political scandal. They'll fire him and eventually. We've heard what soon as I like Jeff to Zucker gets discovered. Politician apology, which Cuomo. is, you know, I'm sorry if you were offended. 